This is a uh, video to explain uh, what life is going to be like out there in expedition for young explorers and also uh, to help young explorers who perhaps might have some anxieties or, or a lot of different thoughts about what it's going to be like. Well, perhaps this can serve as a, a quick video to reassure you uh, and also give you some perspective from what it was like when I went on expedition um, in the, the back end of 2023. So uh, I was worried about a million different things. I, I'm naturally an anxious person, you know. I've uh, I've had to uh, see therapists before for my anxiety, which I can safely say now I'm more or less on the other side of, thankfully. Uh, but what you sh should try and understand is your mind will be thinking about lots of different things. And one of the best ways to deal with this, at least from my experience, and of course, if you have your own way, then please continue doing what works for you. But I, here's an idea which I can perhaps share with you. I used to, at the beginning of every day, uh, leading up to the expedition, and, and sometimes also during the expedition, but more importantly leading up, I would meditate for five to ten minutes. I'd get my watch, put a timer on, leave the phone away, and go to a, a quiet area. Uh, and I would just sit there and listen to my thoughts. And then at the end of the meditation, I would write down the thoughts that became most prominent to me in my mind. And that way I knew what I was most worried about and what my subconscious was most worried about. And then towards, uh, as the day progressed and I got on with things in the day, I would be thinking about those thoughts that I wrote down and if there was anything I could do about it. And actually one of the thoughts that came to me was about whether I had the right equipment. Uh, and so this is something that I, in hindsight was a massive uh, worry for me. I wanted to make sure I had absolutely everything. And you'll be given a kit list, which the, the folks at the head office of BES uh, write up for you. And the kit list has loads of different items on. And it'll be, uh, it'll be uh, categorized from essential to recommended and other things. And I actually got everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. That's how paranoid I was. I, I guess paranoid is not the right word, but that's how anxious I was that I wasn't sure about what I'd use. Well, when I went to Kyrgyzstan, I had this backpack and it was huge. I think it on the first expedition out of base camp, I think it weighed, including water, so three litres of water, I think it got to about 22 kilograms at its most. And that was the heaviest it ever was because I was swiftly learning that as you progressed through the expedition, you didn't need so much and you you almost have to think of expedition that it's not the same as life at home it's not like oh i need or if you're going on holiday with a suitcase so oh, i'll just throw in some clothes or i'll have this toothpaste or whatever it, it really is a lot more simpler than you you think it is going to be and actually Towards the end of the expedition, I um, as the weeks went by, so Kyrgyzstan was a long expedition. It was over the course of a month and a week, so it was a long time. And as the course, as the expedition went on, I slowly whittled my uh, backpack down to the point where I only, I think, I initially started out with something like five pairs of underwear, five pairs of socks, and goodness knows what else, I whittled it all down to basically two pairs of underwear, two socks, one t-shirt and one set of trousers and then a spare set of trousers. But again, these are specifics I don't really want to get into. But my point being that your expedition worries about the equipment. You don't, don't, don't look into it too much. You obviously go through the essentials, but anything else is, is not in entirely needed actually a lot of things are not needed because you can live off the you can live off the land you can wash your clothes and you can do those sorts of things